is Melody from Paradise Creations. And I have a very small haul. There we go. Now you can probably see things better. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I have a very small haul. I got a couple. Well, you know what? I just remembered today's Saturday because I was getting ready to say I've got a couple of things from Dollar General. I need to go to Dollar General because uh, I've got a $5 coupon off $25. So, um, yeah, I might be doing, I might be adding on to this video later. Uh, I have been working on my sewing room. Oh, Lord. What I've been doing is I've been doing the easy part. I've been pulling all of my ribbons out, and I've been wrapping them up. Matter of fact, hold on one second, and I can show you how I'm doing it. If I get this stuff out of my way, be right back, because it's right over here. Okay, I can't find it. It's in here somewhere. I just brought it in here yesterday or the day before, and I haven't put them away yet. But if I find them, then I will add a picture in right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a small one, like I said. First off, I'm going to do bells. We have a, Florida has this store. It's just for Florida, I guess. I think it's just in Florida. Anyhow, the website is bells, B-E-A-L-L-S, Florida.com. What I got, the first thing is these sneakers here. These are by Rika, R-Y-K-O, and they have memory foam in them. And let me tell you what, I just put them on a few minutes ago to walk out to the mailbox, and they are so comfortable. And so, and uh, no laces. I like that. This is elastic, I think. Yeah, this is elastic. And this right here, it's nice and airy feeling, like you can get some air to your feet. Uh, because it's mesh right around here really nice and then that's what the back of it looks like and then that's the bottom of it so they're very comfortable my doctor I went to a foot and ankle doctor because I was I was having some pains in my foot on the right side of my right foot and so he said I had uh, tendonitis and uh, he says it's a peripheral tendonitis. So he's sending me to um, physical therapy. And I had one session. And she found spots on my right leg. I didn't even know there was any pain. And I wonder why I'm always getting this little beam up here. I think it's from this light up here. I bet you anything. Because I've noticed here lately when I'm, because I watch my videos uh, on uh, YouTube to see how they turn out, if I need to change anything or whatever. And I always get that little light right there. I wonder if it's from uh, the light up above here. Huh. Well, anyhow. Oh, gosh. You're, you're going to... Let me see if I can turn this cam. The, all right, that's better. Much better. <laughs> I do think it's this light above me. Uh, but anyhow. So, um, I forgot what I was talking about. But anyhow, oh, the doctor. So he's got me in physical therapy, and I went for the first time on Wednesday, I think it was. And she found spots. I didn't even know I had pain in my right leg because I didn't feel anything, right? And she's pushing on my leg. I'm going, ow, like that. I says, I didn't know I had a little pain right there because I don't usually feel it. So she wanted to know the pinpoints of where she needed to work that day. So all she really did was she gave me a good massage. I know it was at least 30 minutes just on my foot and mostly on my foot. A little bit on my leg, but mostly on my foot. And she got uh, everywhere that I'm having the pain. I have, the, I have some pain in the ball of my foot. I have it from... Um, the right side where you have a bone sticking out, it's on the outside of your foot. Well, anyhow, it starts from there and then it goes on top of my foot about midway. And uh, so she gave me a really good massage. It felt so good. Okay, well, anyhow, let's get off of that. I don't want this video to be too long because I might be going to the Dollar General to, um, well, 
I didn't bring my Walmart bag in here. I'll do that on the next video, or I'm going to add that later. But it's only a couple of things. I, d I got two items. I can tell you what they are. There's some more wood letters to go with the ones I got from Dollar General, and they're the same size. So I got two E's. Now I need an A, and then I can make the word uh, create, and I can paint it up. And yeah, so I just need an A. That's all I need. So anyhow, let me go ahead and finish with bells. You know, when I, um, when my mother uh, introduced me to bells, I used to say Beals because it's B-E-A-L-L-S. And she'd always correct me, say, no, it's bells. I says, well, it's got an A in it. She says, I know, but it is bells. So anyhow, <laughs> I thought I'd give you that little joke. Her and I, we joke around quite a bit. And she knows I'm only joking. Like, I'll call her Mommy Dearest. And, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. I used to call her Mommy... Well, I do now. Call her Mommy Dearest. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Allergy season. <laughs> but anyhow, so, uh... Sh at first, she didn't like it. At first, she says... I've never used wire hangers on you. I says, I know, but I don't call you Mommy Dearest for that reason. I know you're not Joan Crawford. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, these shoes I have on, they were $29.99 regular price. I think they were like $60. I know the receipt's in the bag somewhere, so I can pull it out. Let me get all this stuff and put it in this box. Where's the lid? Okay. All right, so I got this pair right here, and these are from Polo. It says U.S. Polo A.S.S.N., so it must be a mean association or something. But anyhow, see the mesh on there? I thought, oh, that would be wonderful. Because, see, the doctor says I have to wear a sock with a brace. And then he puts me on this boot. I'm not wearing the boot. I will wear the brace, but I'm not wearing that boot. I wore that boot um, th Wednesday to uh, Walmart, and I could hardly walk for two minutes. You know, that's as long as I could last without being in pain. And so I had to use a scooter, and I don't like using scooters. So, um, um, yeah, I'm not, wearing, I'm not wearing that thing anymore. I'm just going to do the brace and even my uh, physical therapist she says that I really don't need the boot I says well I don't think I need it either but anyhow let's get back to the shoe so this is what it looks like see and it's so soft on the outside it's so soft and that's the logo I guess and it's a slip-on you, you tie it here, but it's a slip-on, just like the other pair I have. So, this color, uh, I would probably call this like a taupe color. So, that's what it looks like to me. Let's see, one of them has the tag. Let's see what it says. Anything? No. It doesn't tell me. All right, let me look on the box. <laughs> Okay, the color is, it says light gray rose gold. All right, so that's the rose gold and then light gray. These shoes were originally $50, and I got them for $29.99. Then the other shoes, let me turn this box around. These other shoes are called Peachy Mesh. They were $60, and I got them for $29.99. So... This has memory foam in it also. But, oh yeah, and then he gave me some insoles to put in. So, you know, I'll wear the insoles, I'll wear the brace, but I am not going to wear that uh, big boot. So uncomfortable. All right, so, then I got a couple of more things. Oh, he said I had to wear socks. So, I got, oh, here's the receipt right here. I can tell you exactly how much those shoes were. Um, okay, the, the peach ones, like I said, were $29.99, and then my senior discount, I got $3 off, so that brought it down to $26.99, and 
And then the ones that say polo um, were $50. And... Oh, I didn't know that. They were 60% off. So they came down to 30 And then I got the senior discount, which is $2 off. So I paid $18. $18 for these sneakers. Look at that. I didn't know that. Okay. Huh. All right. So it says I saved $65.01. Then I went to J.C. Penney. They're having a, uh, they're closing their store here, and I got a pack of socks. I thought I got two pack. I did. Where's the other pack at? Maybe. Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are not, and I love cotton. Cotton works better on me. It is 76% cotton, 22% polyester, 2% spandex. They were $12, and I ended up paying, let me see, $8.40. They were 30% off. And so that's a three-pack. And then I also got these. And... Uh, that way I can wear some ankle socks. And I wanted something with different colors. So you've got a light blue, you have a navy, and then you had this tan. So, uh, I'll be wearing socks a lot. All right, so now all I have left is uh, Dollar General. Dollar General, I didn't get much in there. Let's see, did I get any discounts? No. Okay, so I got me some ibuprofen. I take quite a bit of this. Here we go. It was upside down. No wonder. I take uh, uh, quite a bit of this. Um, not a quite a bit, but I take some every night, like two every night, because um, my back and everything else. So there are 30 tablets in here. I got these for a dollar at Dollar General. And I thought, well, ibuprofen is ibuprofen. Then they had these binders. And I think these are a three inch, no, these are a two inch binder. And it's in the teal color. And they were four dollars each. And I says, well, you can't go wrong. Four dollars and they're two inches, two inch binders. Okay, that is it. That's it of all my stuff so far. Like I said, I might be going to Dollar General later. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about going now before be, before it gets uh, too late. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. I need to get a clock up here. I have a clock, but I haven't seen it since we've moved. So I know it's got to be out in the garage. But I also found a real pretty clock that I like from... Amazon, I think it is, and it has it has um, vintage things on it like sewing machine, um, scissors, um, thimbles, and I don't know what else for you know like each number on the clock. So, thinking about getting that because if I'm going to turn this room into a vintage sewing room, that would work perfect in here, and. I've got most of my new furniture in here. I have one more piece, and I need to figure out exactly where it's going to go. And uh, I've moved down um, my so on my Singer sewing machine. I've moved down this uh, set of drawers I'm going to keep. And I don't know where I'm going to put that last piece. So that I need to figure out. But anyhow, um, I've been working on this room. It doesn't look any better. You'd never know that I've uh, actually been working on it, but I have. But right now what I'm doing every night, I sit down with that poster board I showed you. And I cut a two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then some of them I cut like three and a half by two and a quarter. 
I'm, I don't know how to do vlogs very well. Uh, you know, like I watched uh, Joy uh, Bernhardt. She just talk, 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 talk. And it's like, how does she have so much to say? If she does a video every day, how does she have so much to say? She must have a really interesting life. I'm, I feel like I have a boring life. I really do. Now, I might, uh, I might uh, set up my camera on my phone and I might have it turned in a certain spot in this sewing room I'm working on. And I might, you know, do a vlog that way, you know, um, and you can watch me go through stuff. Yay, isn't that fun? <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, my life is boring. I'm retired. I don't do much. Uh, I'm not doing the merchandising because the, the um, pandemic, the virus, is back in Florida, big time. We're having a lot of hot spots around Florida again. It was starting to ease up, and then Memorial Day, the governor decides to open up the beaches, and guess what? Bam! Nobody's doing social distancing. Nobody's wearing a mask. They're all uh, in the water together, side by side, and it's mostly the young people. And uh, so... He's closed Miami down, or either Miami, um, the Miami's mayor, he might have done it. I'm not sure exactly who, but Miami is shut down. So there won't be any 4th of July in Miami tonight, except if um, they have fireworks going off in their backyard. Yeah, here in Florida, it's legal. You can do your own fireworks, which I think should be illegal because... In Florida, our houses are so close to each other. I mean, very close. You 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 know you don't have much of a yard, and uh, well, I do because I live on an acre. Because I don't live in the city part. I live in the county part. So I, I live on an acre, and I have a neighbor on one side of me. She doesn't do fireworks. She's really she, her family's really quiet. I think it's just her, and um, I've seen her daughter over there. And, uh, but mostly I just see her and, uh, so she's quiet. She doesn't do fireworks. Now someone around here does. We heard a few go off last night and upset my dog tremendously. So we were already in the bed and she jumped off the bed and she went under. Well, first we put her, we have a little jacket that she wears. Um, I'll take a picture of her because we're making her wear it all day because we're not sure exactly what time these people are going to start up. It depends. I don't know. We thought last year it would be, you know, like right at dark, but it wasn't. And then we also have some medicine to give her from the vet. And we're supposed to give it to her 30 minutes before the fireworks start up, but around here, you don't know. So, um, after dinner, I'm going to give her one of her pills that's supposed to help calm her down. So last night we gave her her medicine and we put the jacket on her and the jacket is to help calm her. There's some, the material or something in it is supposed to help calm the animal. And she was shaking. I mean, big time. She was really, really shaking. And uh, so I told my husband, I says, go get her jacket and go get her her pill and uh if she wants to jump off the bed and get under it that's fine i'll let her do it but get her jacket and get her a pill and so he did and um so i told him i says well make sure you shut the bedroom door because i didn't want her running into another room and hide if she's going to hide i want her to do it under the bed that way she knows during the night um if she, when she calms down she can just get on the bed with us well she did I don't know what time it was. It was like almost close to um, dawn and she jumps up on the bed and uh, she woke me up and I says, oh, you finally decided to get up here, huh? And uh, so I gave her a little attention and then um, my husband, he woke up and he gave her a little attention. Then we went to sleep. So we're going to have the same problem tonight. And uh, But around here, now in the city, 
they would have them going off until like four in the morning. I mean, that's ridiculous. 10 o'clock should be a cutoff time. But the police department, they don't care. I have called the sheriff so many times when I lived in the city about it, and he doesn't care. So one year he told, he told his dispatcher, he says, if you get any calls of firework disturbances, don't do anything about it. That's what she told me he said, to ignore it. And I says, well, he's going to, he's going to ignore it if my house, house catches on fire and we're in it. And we don't get out in time. Because that's how close the houses are in the city area. So, um, but around here I noticed, uh, we've been here two years, and I have noticed that they don't, they're not that bad. I mean, they're like pop one, maybe pop another, but they're not, duh, 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 you know, like that. And uh, you don't hear the... Uh, the uh, sound they make when they're going through the air. Uh, so it do, it's not that bad out in the county area. Uh, they usually stop their fireworks between 10 and 12, which is fine with me because sometimes I don't go to bed until 12. And uh, But tonight, um, if I'm in the bed and they're going off, because I may, you know, sometimes I go to bed a little earlier, Anyhow, and if they go off, uh, she's already going to have her medicine in her. She's got that jacket on her. I know she's not comfortable with the jacket on, but I want her in it all day. And uh, she can hide under the bed. It doesn't bother me because I know eventually she'll uh, be okay. And then she'll jump up back on the bed. Um, when it comes to the fireworks, we pretty much let her do anything she wants. And don't bother her while she's under the bed. One year, I tried to get her out, right? And I had I put my arm under the bed and tried to get her to come out. She snapped at my hand. And ever since then, mm -mm, I'm not going to bother her. Let her come out when she feels like she's ready. So... Um, that's about all the excitement around here for now. <laughs> okay. Well, it says that I've used up my minutes on this phone, so I'm going to go. I got some cleaning out, I guess. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to talk with you later. You have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, leave comments and questions. Bye-bye for now.